I'd like you to consider this question. If a projectile is fired slightly upward at an angle 45 degrees off the horizontal, so that it's like a cannon shooting up like this, at an initial speed of 10 meters per second, I'd like you to answer then, what is its acceleration when it's just about to hit the ground? Is it either A, 0, B, 9.8 meters per second squared in the horizontal direction, pointing in the horizontal, or 9.8 meters per second squared pointing in the vertically down, or D, 9.8 meters per second squared pointing up, or is it none of these? Well, consider that if this is a case where gravity is pointing straight down, there's an acceleration little g as equal to 9.8 meters per second squared in magnitude, it's always pointing down. So even though the projectile may do some complicated trajectory as it goes across the, the, the yard, its acceleration is always pointing downward. In fact, there's no acceleration in the horizontal direction, it's only pointing down. If you ask what it is at the top of the arc, it's pointing down. If you ask what it is over here, it's pointing down. Even just after it was, it has left the cannon, it's, it's pointing straight down. The acceleration is always pointing down once I've left the cannon, and it's in what we call projectile motion or free fall. So the correct answer is actually C. The bonus question, what would be the horizontal component of velocity as this projectile is about to hit the ground? The easiest way to remember here is that the acceleration is always pointing down, it does not have a horizontal component, then the horizontal component of velocity, that part that's pointing along the x direction, is always a constant. It's not changing. Acceleration is related to change in speed. So if there's no acceleration in the horizontal direction, there's no change in speed in the horizontal, and whatever it was at the very beginning is what it will be all the way through its trajectory here. So Vx final will equal Vx naught, and that will equal V naught times a cosine of 45 degrees, because this velocity vector it's pointing off at 45 degrees. And if you plug in 10 meters per second and plug into your calculator of cosine of 45, or remember that it's 1 over square root of 2, this comes out to be plus 7.1 meters per second. And it points to the right. Because V naught was initially pointing to the right. 